Ciao, stregas. So, <laughs> hello, witches, and specifically those interested in Italian American witchcraft and folk magic and magic, or Italian witches in general. Um, I am an Italian American. I'm wearing my my horn. Um, and for a long time, I really struggled to find information on Italian magic. Raven Grimassi was kind of like all I could find in the 90s. And I don't really connect with his writing style. So today I actually have a really good book recommendation for you. But I just wanted to give you a brief understanding of my story. So my father was Italian but wasn't a part of my life. And my mother's, grand, my mother's father was Italian. So I'm like three quarters Italian. But my grandfather's family was the kind of American immigrants that wanted to completely Americanize their kids. So my grandfather's name is Salvatore, but he thought his name was Sammy until he went to elementary school because they wanted to Americanize him as much as possible. He didn't learn Italian, right? And so what we got from my grandma Jenny, who I'm named after, which is his mother, is we got a lot of recipes, but not a lot of the, the magic and the information. And so I have always been yearning for that, that culture, you know, what, what didn't they bring over? What were they ashamed to share? And I feel the book I'm gonna share with you really helps with that. It's called Italian Folk Magic, Rue's Kitchen Witchery by Mary Grace uh, Farron. And it's beautiful. It's like so perfect. I don't know how else to describe it, right? It's not for those of us who like, you know, some people really like to delve into like high magic. This is for anybody. So anyone is Italian American or interested in Italian American culture, but not necessarily having like a lot of background on witchcraft, this is going to help you. And it immediately sucked me in because she, unlike me, grew up speaking Italian and I've actually been learning Italian or trying to, attempting to online on Duolingo. Um, because I was like, yeah, why not? Why can't I learn this native language? Um, but she has such a great story in here about witnessing the evil eye being put on one of her cousins and how she realized at one point that her whole family was doing magic. They wouldn't call themselves stregas or witches, but they were, they had magic and they had these things and it's all intertwined with Catholicism which is very similar to like what we see with Brujeria and so it's great she has recipes because of course right she's Italian there's got to be food in here there is uh, different information on amulets there's a whole dream dictionary and how they correspond with playing the lotto which I really love and just really I don't know like it's different it's a different folk magic is my favorite kind of magic so if you're new to witchcraft or magic it's so i want to say simple but doesn't make it any less powerful right there's not these like deep rites and knowing these symbolism and trying to pronounce these ancient things it's you know far from that it's so like homey and she talks about having a kitchen altar it's just really beautiful i highly recommend it so if you're italian american or just you know want to learn about italian folk magic or folk magic in general you know how is that different from high magic and other books we see i recommend this one